Welcome back graduates. So in the last video we showed you how to install these swatches. In this video we're going to show you how to set up custom swatches. So in order to do that, let's get right into it. So in order to do that, we're going to go into the back end of your Shopify store and you're, we're going to go into your products. And then we're going to go and type in the product, the t-shirt. And there's a couple steps to this, um, so just watch very carefully. Scrolling down, I'm going to just add a uncommon color that Shopify doesn't recognize. So let's just click edit and I'm going to add, um, let's see, I'm going to add Topaz, save. And then it takes a little bit. So now if I go into here, I don't have Topaz and I don't have the the color swatch for a topaz, but let me just go and we can enter quantities and update that. Now when I preview this, topaz is white, but there's white here, but this isn't the actual color for it. So what I'm gonna do is go and create a, a custom color swatch for this. So notice how my title is topaz, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to name any custom color swatch as swatch hyphen topaz. And this works for all of the custom swatches. So it has to have swatch and then hyphen after it. And then whatever the color uh, title is that you put. Now, if it's two, char if it's two, two characters or um, two letters, two senses of a color, like purple, blue, then it's going to be swatch hyphen purple hyphen blue and then the file is going to be a PNG. Now also note that you can do this in Canva, you can do this in Photoshop, excuse me, Photoshop um, and I would make it a 50 by 50 p, uh, pixels. So in order for that, I just created this. So I would just do new and I do 50 by 50 pixels. Now I'll just blow this up a little bit. I'm do a color overlay. So let's say that's topaz, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a PNG. And like mentioned, I'm going to do swatch hyphen topaz PNG. And just do swatch hyphen topaz. Save it here. Now going back, I'm going to go into my settings right over here. And I'm going to go into my files and upload my files and it's going to be Topaz. And I would give it a second, but then when you go back into your uh, products here, refresh, and all you have to do is refresh here and see that Topaz has now been added as a custom swatch. And this works with other swatches too. Like mentioned, if it's a black and yellow hat that you're doing, then I would just do a black, uh, black and then a yellow and then do color swatch. So I would do swatch hyphen black, yellow. And so black and ye black yellow would have to be the title of that variant as well. So remember that in order for that to work. And then here, go back into your product, sorry. Go back into your product's t-shirt. And if you have a t-shirt, just add the images for Topaz. So I would just do color and sort it out and filter it by Topaz and then add the image. I don't have a Topaz image, but that, that's how you would add the Topaz shirt as well. I hope this helps. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any issues, just reach out to support at ecomgraduates.com and we will definitely be able to help you with this.